Hi guys, good morning and welcome to my channel and my car. Uh, I wanted to do this video uh, as soon as possible um, for me uh, for a few reasons. Um, obviously just to update kind of what's been going on with uh, my journey with the Thrive program. Um, but also I kind of wanted to demonstrate for you guys what happens when you do not consistently follow the program and kind of slack off and don't put the effort in that um, needs to be put in, eventually you are going to hit a bump and how you uh, react to that or how you um, handle that bump or that blip or that um, setback is directly related to the amount of effort that you put into your work with Thrive. And I've got to say, I've just, like I've said before, I've just kind of been doing my positives a couple of times a day. I have been doing my journaling, I uh, haven't been reading. Um, and I, I'm doing my brick exercises, which are the ones that um, my consultant had given me, uh, where you just kind of, on a picture of a brick wall, you put your limiting belief. Um, and then in the, the bricks on that wall, you put the evidence that you have against it. Uh, because that initially, you know, like Rob says in the book, your your limiting beliefs are your, are your brick walls. You have um, all of these bricks, all of these life experiences that culminate into or that build this wall. And uh, the mortar, the strength in the wall is your need to... Uh, believe that is, is your, you know, um, how much you need to believe in that. Um, so I, again, I have been doing those, um, and I had put the horse one away actually. And uh, this weekend was my first, uh, what I would consider a big challenge for me. Um, first of all, uh, driving a long distance. Um, I do get anxious when I'm driving, but not, you know, not unless I'm going three or four hours, you know. Um, but if I'm hauling one of my horses, uh, even 15 minutes can get me uh, really agitated, um, or just you know, I, I just I do feel anxious when I when I haul my horses. And uh, so I went. I think it was about an hour and 15 minutes. But our, our truck's been having issues, so I've just kind of been you know I was nervous babysitting all of that. And then by the time I got there, um, you know, we had to find a camping spot, and um, so I was really. Yeah, I handled that pretty well, you know, by the time I got there and got everything settled in, I calmed down pretty quickly. I never had an, an actual panic attack or anything. Um, but the following day, apparently I wasn't paying attention to how I had my tack put on, how I had my saddle and everything adjusted. And um, I had the back strap on the saddle that goes under the horse's belly. I had her rear one adjusted too far back, and so it was kind of starting to... Um, mimic what they call a bucking strap in, in the rodeo. Um, that's what they use to to make the, the horses buck. Um, and it was kind of in that same area. So, and I wasn't, I, I didn't realize it. She, so she was kind of humped up like she wanted to buck. And um, she got a, a couple of little uh, hissy fits and I, I didn't quite get it. She's not normally like that. So I go to hop on. I'm already nervous. I'm already anticipating, um, you know, I'm, you know, I, I wasn't visually uh, or positively visualizing anything. I was just kind of going about my day and I, uh, I really should have taken the time to do that because when I did get on her and she did hump up like she wanted to buck, you know, she, um, again, this is not normally like her. Um, I immediately panicked. I mean, I flew off my horse faster than I have ever dismounted in my life. Um, and I was almost in tears. And I, I should have been able to handle that a little bit better. I, I, I have the skills and I have the resources and I've got these tools in my toolkit and I didn't use them. And um, so I actually couldn't even get back on my horse. Um, I was so, I, just the adrenaline, I, I was shaking. And like I said, I was almost in tears. And even when the, <laughs> My girlfriend pointed out, you know, hey, it's your 
your back cinch, um, it slipped. I couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't even fumble with the straps and the, the tie downs and everything. I, I just couldn't, I couldn't even do it. I was shaking so bad. So, um, one of our other girlfriends lended me her 28 year old horse <laughs> for the first, uh, probably 20 minutes of the ride. And I was able to calm down and, and she rode my horse who was always really forward moving and, and pretty excited. And so, um, I mean, I wouldn't count that, you know, I, I wouldn't count it as a failure, you know, um, I'm not, I'm trying not to be so hard on myself that way, but I did kind of want to explain this to you guys and kind of tell you a little bit about it because I was doing really, really well, you know, um, making it to work and eating all the time and, um, going out to eat, uh, going to the grocery stores by myself and doing my, um, my own shopping. And so I was doing really well and doing the little challenges. And again, I had put my, uh, my horse went away. I probably should not have done that until I did this, what I would consider a larger or a bigger challenge for me. Um, so that was, that was a mistake on my part, uh, as well as not doing the reading. And, um, you know, I, I certainly could have added, you know, the brick walls that I'm working on now, but I didn't have to, uh, didn't have to put the horse one away. I really shouldn't have. Um, so, I just like, I guess I just kind of wanted to say how important it is for us to really continue that work. And even when we're doing really, really well, uh, how important it is to work really, really hard. Um, so yeah, that's, that was kind of my, my weekend. Um, so now I know, now I really, really know, uh, what needed to be done and what needs to be done. Um, you know, as a result of all of that anxiety and um, all of that crap I put myself through and all of the, the negative thinking and the obsessive thinking, I um, have created more stomach pain. <laughs> so I've been kind of dealing with that the last couple of days um, as well. You know, I didn't want to eat the morning of just because I was anxious, but I did. So, you know, I ate a full breakfast, eggs, bacon, hash browns. We always eat better at camp than I do at home. Um, so I did that, uh, and I came back and I didn't want to eat lunch. I kind of felt nauseated on the ride and, but I did, I came back and I ate my lunch. Um, you know, I eventually did eat dinner. Um, so that is going much, much better. Um, previously I would have just said, no, I'm not going to eat. You can't make me eat. Um, so instead of being a two year old about it, I, um, decided with my husband what we were going to have for dinner and um, I ate so and I ate the my whole plate of food so that was really good um, but I'm still kind of feeling the stomach pain and um, you know the rise in my throat and all that garbage today so um, I'm hoping to uh, kind of knock this out I've done my uh, journaling this morning, I've done my mantras over and over again. Um, you know, as I was going to sleep last night, I did cover how I wanted my day to go because I knew, um, you know, I've got a lot going on today, a lot of things that need to be done. So um, I've kind of set myself up for success today, and I think I'll probably send an email off to my consultant and um, see if maybe she's got any other further pearls of wisdom for me um, other than get off your butt and do your work. So again, I just kind of wanted to put this update out there just, I guess, to show you what a, um, a backslider looks like. I mean, I guess I really don't appear a whole lot different, um, but I certainly feel it. I, I do feel it. Um, and I wanted to just kind of update you guys on where I am in the book, where, <laughs> on some of the reading that I have been doing. Um, I am doing my actions and the thing that uh, I found going back through the book is every um, every week you know I try to go over my locus of control questions and really um, consider where I am in my belief on those am I still on the fence or have I moved over to 100% solid yes I believe that way or no I don't believe that way um, I find that kind of does help keep me motivated you know 
seeing the, the difference um, in the changes I've made. And I actually do it in columns where like, um, you know, I'll do 50%, 100%, um, you know, or um, still undecided. Uh, so, you know, I kind of mark what uh, locus of control question number that I still um, have challenges with in a in one of those three columns, and um, I am noticing progress there. Uh, and as far as the social anxiety, that's come down quite a bit. I am participating in our staff meetings now 100%. Um, actually, my hips were hurting really bad um, sitting down all day. Um, you know, they say sitting is the new smoking. I wholeheartedly believe that. Um, sitting down all day now for my job is uh, really painful, so it kind of messes with my hips and as well as my back, and my hips were really hurting in the meeting, and you know, rather than sit there and fidget and just be in pain, I stood up as the only person standing up in the room. Um, but you know, I stood up and I um, did some little uh, stretches some slight stretches, you know, to try to relax my hips out a little bit. And I didn't feel anxious about it. I didn't feel, you know, like anybody was staring at me or judging me or anything. So that was really good. Um, and again, I am doing my own shopping now as well as um, just trying to put myself out there more using the, the restroom only when uh, other people are in the restroom, still doing that. <laughs> So I am moving forward uh, slightly, not as much as I should, and I'm not putting in the effort that I should. So that's kind of where we are in this update. Um, I hope it, it's helpful to know what happens when you don't put the work in and, and when you're not paying attention, and uh, because that whole thing could have been avoided. Uh, you know, even if, say, the something had spooked her, you know, upset her on the trail, um, I could have used the dream technique to pull myself down and, and calm myself down, um, instead of hopping off and running away. Um, so, you know, we, we do have all these tools and, and he's written a, a very well thought out, very, uh, easy to understand program for us. We just have to follow it. And, um, so that's kind of what happens when you don't. And I am just about to my appointment now. So I, um, hope this has been helpful and that you're all doing well and, uh, hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.